I'm Ravina and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to share with you my recipe for guacamole. This is a really, really, really cool recipe, if I may say so myself, because it's guacamole with red onions and pomegranate. Ah! Okay, so I already started off, and here I've got half a red onion chopped, along with the juice of three limes, a really, really good pinch of salt, and some cilantro, and that way the cilantro will infuse into the lime, and the onion and the lime juice will soften the onion so you don't get that like really intense oniony burn. The last thing that I'm gonna add to that is just a little pinch of cayenne. I don't want it very spicy, but I do want a little something. You could, of course, add like jalapenos or chili or whatever you prefer, but our cayenne at the moment is very powerful. So I'll just let that sit while I work on the avocados. Now I've already cut a bunch of them in half. I really don't care how many avocados you use, um, but in my opinion, you can never have too much guacamole. So you take your avocado and your knife, and then you cut all along the avocado, and twist, and it comes right off. And now to get the seed out, a lot of people do this thing where they basically do one intense cut where you like end up with your knife in the middle of the pit, but that scares me and I have terrible aim. So I just kind of use my knife to nudge the pit out, Ta-da! which works as well. And the odds of cutting yourself are significantly lower. And I like my guacamole really, really chunky. So I choose to not mash the avocados. Instead, I take my knife and I score the avocados. And then you can just take a big spoon. Whoa, this one's massive. And you can just scrape out all the flesh. And that can go directly into your bowl. And then by stirring this together, the avocados will like soften um, and it'll be just mushy enough, yet it'll still have texture. So I've got my pomegranate. If you don't have pomegranates, you can do a little bit of tomato. Um, some people say tomato is typical, some people say it isn't typical. I feel like this is a dish which is made in a lot of different places. There isn't necessarily one right variation, but I like pomegranates, which bring this beautiful, crisp sweetness to it. You bite and you get the sharpness of the onion and the creamy avocado, and then this like globule of flavor in the pomegranate. Anyways, you take the pomegranate and roll it around, and you'll feel the capsules kind of releasing from almost their shell and that'll give you ooh they're beautiful and that'll just make it sweeter and juicier and it'll be easier to get the seeds out I love pomegranates in order to get the seeds out of the pomegranate take the pomegranate put it into your hand upside down over the bowl wooden spoon and whack 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 now you'll see in your hand you just kind of let the seeds fill into the bowl. I just start in the pomegranate seeds. It's the perfect guacamole because of the textures and the tastes and it's like it hits every taste you ever want it to hit. You have the sweet and salty and sour and creamy and it's crunchy, and it's fresh, and it's so good. I really, 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 really quite a lot recommend this. Just basically onions, lime, cilantro, a little bit of spicy, avocado, pomegranate. What could be bad? I hope you give this a shot, and let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mm. Do you want to taste? Yes.